Hello everyone, my name is Santosh Gupta and in this C++ video I am going to cover arrays, passing arrays to classes, classes and separate files, constructors, composition and member initializer list. So let's get started. The code in this program it does the exact same thing as what, as um, the code in my previous video. Uh, let me give you a demonstration. So this code it asks for the values of four resistors and it gives the total resistance in series and in parallel. The difference is it makes use of um, a lot more functions in C++. Um, again, I know that um, the simpler the code the better, but I just made a simple code to demonstrate these features in C++, so let's get started. The first thing I want to cover is um, arrays and passing arrays to classes. So you'll notice that instead of using individual variables, I use an, ar an array to store the resistor, of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the resistor values, and I pass the values of the resistor by using the syntax uh, r and then the the size of the array and then it gets passed to a function and we have to declare a double because that is the type of data the array holds and then a integer because that is the uh, type of data that indicates indicates the sign of the uh, size of the array Next, I am going to cover classes and separate files. So instead of putting all your classes in this one main C++ file, what you can do is you can right-click on source files, add class, select C++ class, and then you can name your class anything. And when you do this, Easy. When you do this, it gives you two files, a header file where you declare all your functions and variables, and the C++ file where you program all your functions. Um, so yeah, that's uh, separate files in C++ in a nutshell. Um, next, I am going to... Um, Oh, one more thing. When you have when you have these uh, separate files, you have to include them at the top of your program. Include parallel.h, series.h, and so then it knows that there is these um, extra classes that the main program wants to read from. Um, so yeah, that's those are classes in a classes and separate files in the nutshell. The next concept I want to cover is um, constructors. So um, in these classes there is a special function which is which is the same name as the class and that this is called a constructor and what a constructor does once an object pertaining to the class is created. It executes the constructor function automatically. Um, let me give you an example. When this object par, which pertains to the class parallel, once this object is created and passes the array information to parallel, it executes this section of the code automatically it calculates the answer, the um, total resistance in parallel, even though no function is actually called. All it does is the um, all we do is create the object, and uh, this is the same for when this object object is created as well. It executes this section of the code automatically and you'll notice a difference from this constructor and 
this constructor it has this line which is called the member initializer list and this brings me to the final topic I want to cover composition and member initializer list so composition that that refers to when a class has an object from another class which is the case for the class series it has an object from the class parallel and that is passed from the main program when we create these, this object sir we're passing this object par which is the object created for the class parallel and so this object and the array are passed and collected here is the size of the array, the array and the object that pertains to the class parallel and so when we are when we are passing an object from a different class we need to do something we need to include a line called the uh, member initializer list which is this line over here and what this does it, is it assigns a variable to the object which pertains to the other class uh, in this case I named the variable final p and so I know this is really confusing but um, hope I'm going to cover give a play-by-play -play of the whole program and hopefully that will make things much more clear um, yeah I have covered yeah, all the topics all the concepts I wanted to cover so let's give a play-by-play -play of this program so when this uh, program runs um, let's see first state declares a array with, with a data type double these four lines these eight lines over here they correspond to these eight lines just asking for the value of the resistor and then we input the values for the resistor and then we execute this line over here it creates an object called par and we pass uh, array information into this object and so um, when this object is created and the array information is passed this constructor executes automatically and it calculates the total resistance in parallel next this object is created and we pass information about the object par from the class parallel and also the also the array information and then its constructor executes it initializes the object pertaining to the parallel class and it calculates the total resistance in series so so far we haven't the code hasn't written anything besides the first eight lines um, these two lines haven't been written yet all we did was create um, all we have done is input resistances and then we have created objects and executed the their constructors to calculate the total resistance in series and parallel and also initialize an object the parallel object in the series class next we run this line it uses the object serve which pertains to the class parallel and it calls the function called print all so let's go to that function over here print all and so what this function does it um, outputs the line the total resistance in series is and then it prints what we calculated for our total resistance in series and that is this line over here next it uses the object from the parallel class and it calls it the fun calls the function print parallel so we go to the parallel class and this function it it prints the line the total resistance 
in parallel is, and then it gives the gives what we calculate for our total resistance in parallel, and it prints it out in this line. And with that, um, that is it for the play-by-play uh, -play of this program and this video. Thanks for watching everyone.